Hi, I'm Natalie and this is The Seaside Sewist. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be all about my March makes. And I was quite productive in March, I do tell you. Um, so grab a cup of tea because I've got one here. It's probably uh, still hot enough, but it's been sat there a while now. I'm actually going to start with what I'm wearing. So this is now my new favourite pattern. It is the Nair t-shirt by Tammy Handmade. Why have I waited so long to make this top? It takes no time at all and it's just amazing. So it's in this sort of khaki green uh, cotton jersey with black polka dots on and I got this in one of the Higgs and Higgs uh, little remnant bins when I went to the knitting and stitching show a couple of years ago. It's been in my stash for a while and this pattern has come along and it has made me just want to use all the cotton jerseys up. So I am going to do a separate vlog actually on this t-shirt so um, that will come soon as well. So what did I make? I've actually got a list. What did I make in March? So we will start with what my ex-favourite pattern was that I did a vlog on and it's the boxy raglan top from So Different Patterns. So it's one of their easy makes and it is really easy and it really doesn't take long at all. So this is a picture of the pattern. So I made my first one in a metre of um, cotton that I'd got from First for Fabrics. So I'll show that in here as well. It does have a facing on this pattern, but I'm into bias binding everything at the minute. So I used some amazing bias binding from the Specky Seamstress um, and got that whipped up in no time and it was absolutely amazing. So at the minute, I'm just about to finish one for my mum for her birthday. Um, so I'll get that to show you now. So this is the one that I'm making my mum for her birthday. I got this black cotton from a shop on Etsy. And it's black with all these little ditzy flowers on. And I'm literally up to putting the bias binding on the sleeves. I've already done the neckline and put a little rosy cheeks label in. It's back to front, sorry. Um, which says, made with love. So both of the sleeves are still to be bias bound. And the hem, so it's got like a curved hem. So I did lengthen this by about three inches for my mum. So it's her birthday in about a week, so I need to get that finished. But I have got so many more plans for that pattern. I absolutely love it. So the one that I made, I made in so the dual sizes. So it's 8 to 10, 12 to 14, 16 to 18. I made the 8 to 10. Really happy with the fit. Uh, it's just a really easy make and I got mine out of a metre because I didn't use the same fabric for bias binding. When I made my mum's I ordered a metre and a half of fabric because I knew I wanted to lengthen it and I knew that I wanted to use the same fabric for the bias binding. So I absolutely love this. So let me know what you think of that one. Um, my next make actually was, why do I keep going on the wrong page, the Sew Over It Jessie Cortigan, which I had cut out in the autumn and I'd started it and I just needed finishing. So this is the Jessie Cortigan from Sew Over It. <coughs> So it requires medium weight woven fabric such as boiled wool, melton or twill crepe or you can use a medium weight knit fabric with some drape. Um, it from, goes from sizes 6 to 20, 6 being a bust of 31, a waist of 24 and a hip of 34 inches and the size 20 is a bust of 45, waist of 38 and hip of 48 
inches um i think i made the 10 um i've made quite a few sew over it patterns and i tend to always fall into the size 10 and it always fits now it is quite oversized this cordigan it's unlined um but i didn't want to size up i didn't want it to drown me i want it to be quite fitted um so i used um a remnant sort of the end of roll of boiled wool from first for fabrics when i went with my sewing group last september i think it was and it's black with sort of um an off-white chalky white big sort of polka dot absolutely fantastic to work with um didn't have any left used a fat quarter to do the pockets um and it was just a really easy make it has no fastenings so it's literally you just pour it on and pull it round yourself so i'll put some pictures in here of me wearing that i did a little video as well i think so i might pop that in but i i loved making this um the fabric that i used was absolutely fantastic for the the pattern um, and I will definitely be making that again. So let me know what you think. The next two makes of March were to take part in the So Frugal 24 challenge. Now I have put out a previous vlog showing these in more depth. So I'll literally just pop, pop them in here. But if you want to know more about them, please go over and watch that vlog. So I made the Maison Fauve tilda blouse which i'll put pictures in here um and i made the l601 pajamas stroke lounge set from the assembly line so i literally had a two and a half meter piece of fabric in my stash and i wanted to use it all for my so frugal challenge so i chose two patterns that would use that so I really, really love the blouse. As I say, I'll go into more detail over in my other vlog. Not so keen, not particularly on the fit of the pyjamas, but just the pattern instructions and they were very vague and the measurements weren't very good. And yeah, go over and, and check that out. So my last two makes were both the near t-shirt from tammy handmade now i had had this pattern in my stash forever um i was influenced by tamlin from sewn on the time because she made quite a few um and the other night i just thought you know what i am going to cut this out and i'm going to make it so my first one was in this um cotton jersey that i got from the knitting and stitching show a couple of years ago so for me and my size it uses just under a meter you do the entire thing on your overlocker apart from hemming the hem which i did on my machine so this is my first one i will put proper pictures in of me wearing it so it is um it's a drop shoulder with built-in sleeves that finish with a cuff detail um and this took me about half an hour so what sizes does it go from bear with me so it's for light medium weight knit fabric such as viscose jersey cotton jersey lightweight knit um it goes from sizes 6 to 32 which is brilliant so it's a bust of 31 inches and a waist of 24 up to a bust of 57 and a waist of 50 inches so that is absolutely brilliant so i had randomly bought some cotton jersey from keely from voice of a creative in an instagram d stash and when it came so this is so i've made another nail top it is this absolutely beautiful sort of green jersey i think it's a stuff of denmark jersey but in the flowers it's got like um like gold metallic accents it's just absolutely gorgeous so i'd already made this t-shirt and i thought that is getting made into that t-shirt immediately so 
that is that one I had some Mariflex thread so I did just a double line of top stitching in Mariflex thread and that's brilliant so I am going to York on Tuesday with the ladies from my sewing group and I think I'm going to wear this weather depending definitely weather depending so that is my makes of March which I've made quite a lot and I'm I don't know whether it's um I'll just have a drink of tea I'm just waffling on I'm making myself dry I don't know if it's a coincidence but since I got my room done and I had a massive sort out and I tidied everything everything now has a place so I might have a couple of things out on my desk at the minute but everything gets put away so I'll do a project tidy up or put it away and I think because everything's got its own place I just feel a lot more productive um I really do and it's it's making me really productive with my sewing and excited about it again so if you do find yourself losing your sew job bit it's it is worth to even just tidy through your stash or just have a sort out of of things and of your sewing space and it really has made a massive difference to me so please give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and please subscribe if you don't so already until next time bye